Hi everyone, myself Joji Prasad. Today we are going to discuss about rain induced attenuation in satellite. Uh, first, first of all, first of all, uh, in the satellite communication, we will have the two segments. One thing is the ground seg ground station. The other thing is a satellite. So, earth segment, earth space segment. Two segments will be there. Whenever the signal uh, signal or a transponder, transponder receives the signal and uh, transmit to earth station. This is a normal thing happening in the uh, satellite. So, uh, whenever the satellite is sending a signal from a space segment to earth segment, earth station, so the, the signal will be uh, get interfere, interfere or the signal will get deviated, decrease, get affected due to various reasons. One such reason is rain attu induced attenuation. So, uh, because of this reason, only whenever we are we are uh, having rain, the the uh, DT, DTH uh, direct to home, uh, uh, the channels will get affected because of the signal transmission from the satellites to receiving receiving earth station or the DTH antenna. So, the the uh, rain droplets. Diffuses the our particular rain droplets will um, disturbs the signal because of this deviation some attenuation will be created that attenuation is called rain induced attenuation so that attenuation will depends upon the shape of the droplets rain droplets so so if you want to see the further things about rain attenuation is it is a function of a rain rate. So the rate at which rain is falling, that if intense rain is there, means the signal attenuation is very high. So by rain rate is meant. What is nothing but rain rate means the rate at which rain water would accumulate in rain gauge. Like I said, if the rainfall is very heavy, so the droplets will be the rain droplets will be very huge in size, huge in size, and it will be continuous. And how much rain accumulated in rain gauge? So that means how much rainfall has happened. So uh, in the uh, rain gauge, we are going to measure the how much rainfall uh, happened. Okay, in a situation uh, situated in the area of interest uh, where we are uh, see, measuring the signal, there we are uh, deploying the rain gauge. So the rain is measured in millimeters per hour. So this is a measurement where we measure the rain rate in millimeters per hour for this attenuation, for finding this attenuation. The time percentage is usually usually for year. For example, if a rain rate of 0.001 percentage means that the rain would the rain would exceeded for 0.001 percent of year or 5.3 minutes during any one year. Thank you.